I'm going to show you how to set our robot up on a tripod over a control point and get it back sight. So first, let's get the legs out. That's why I love these le like legs. <laughs> I'm gonna pivot on that one right there when I get the robot on it. So I just kind of eyeball it to start with. Grab my robot real carefully. It's already powered on and connected to my tablet. Always keep a hand on your robot while you're screwing it down here. Once it's on there, we're gonna go over to the tablet here. And on the tablet, we have uh, a couple places we can go in and do this. We're just gonna go into the setup right here. Setup. We're going to do an over and over. When you get that, this level bubble is going to come up and you'll see the, the laser come on down there on the ground. All right. What I do here is I pick up two legs, pivot on the, the one outside from me until I get that laser point, absolute center of our target right there on the ground. Once I've got it center, if I'm in the dirt, I'm going to stop my legs in at this point. Stomp them in, and then I'm going to come back and level up with the legs first. When I level up, I take the bubble on top here and use the leg closest to the bubble. I will come down with that while keeping my hand on it the whole time. If you're in the dirt, or you can put your foot on top of there. Come down until the bubble moves over top of another leg. After you do that, you'll, you'll repeat the same process, foot on there, hand right here to keep it from falling until it'll fall back. And it's kind of getting floating around the bubble right now. And generally after I get it where it floats around the bubble, I go here to these tangent screws. So if you put the face of your instrument in line with two tangent screws, you can see, bring this a little closer here that the controller will move the bubble on there. So, so if you go two in, it'll go left. If you go to the right with it, it'll go right. I go till I get to the center of that. You'll get the green checks. Now I'll move to the back here, this back tangent. If I move it forward, it's gonna shoot back. If, if I move it the other direction, it's gonna shoot forward. So I just move it until I get the check mark there. Check marks in there. Now, I'm gonna move this out of the way here. At this point, your laser down here has probably moved a little bit. Now when it moves, we're gonna go back to our tri rack or robot here, and we're gonna just slightly loosen it here. We're gonna slide it right over top, dead center on our control point. Move it right there, dead center. After that, we're gonna come back and just tighten it down a little bit. And we'll, and we'll repeat the process that we just did because you'll notice the level bubble went out a little bit. So we're just going to give it a little tweak here. Get it checked back in. Repeat, look back down at the ground here. Make sure that one's good. It's hard to see, but it's there. It's good. And we'll go to our next step on the collector. The next step, you hit that by hitting that blue dot. After this step, it's going to have some options here. Instrument height, reflector height. We're not going to use elevation, so we don't need to mess with those. Hit that check, turn that check off. We don't want to check for setup every hour, so we're going to turn that off. Then we'll use this blue dot here to go to the next step. Next step says select station point. This is where you're sitting. This is my room. I'm sitting on one. You see my robot shows up there. I'm going to back sight or look at, I think it's... This one right here, that would be five. All right, and now I'm gonna take this over to my point five. Set up my pull on it here, close. 
and I get it, what I do is I get it level, and when I get it level, I push in both, and you should be good. So now we have to get, let me ignore what I'm doing here. Now we have to get that robot to look at us, and we'll do that by going to the top bar here, selecting, search, and it doesn't matter which direction we hit. I'm in a room full of prism, so it's kind of difficult. <laughs> so, so after you get that on you, it'll say prism found. And we'll hit the start button. After that, you'll hit store. And we're going to pay attention to this little screen at the top right here. Calculate station with intolerance. We'll hit the button here, and it'll say calculated is 16.7. The actual distance is 16.7. We're perfectly flat and good. We're going to hit this green check now. Green check stores our setup, and we are ready to roll. Thank you very much for watching.